We're going to do it. We're going to double sing has set my heart. I'm going to get rid of that. NANI? This is a deck full of princesses and it's called the princess discard deck because that's what it do. We're going to discard cards with cards like Sudden Chill and singing it with Ursula. We're going to discard cards with cards like Bare Necessities and singing it with Cinderella here. We're going to discard cards with other cards like Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno the song card where if we play it, they uh, we choose one of our opponent's characters, put it into their hand, and then they discard a random card in their hand. So fun discards, lots of princesses. This Ursula, which she can shift, actually turns into a, a princess. Kind of crazy, huh? Ursula is a princess? What? But that's what it do be like. We got this Cinderella here, which we're excited to use some new legendaries. And there she is. She's here to sing cards like, look at this family, which we look at the top seven, no, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may reveal up to two characters and put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And that's okay because we're playing quite a lot of characters. We're playing 34 characters. So over half the time, it's going to be all characters. Is that how that works? I don't know. Let's get into a game. Things we learned in this video has set my heart is pretty sick with Ursula. I get to banish two items for one song. Ding, ding, ding. Number two, how do you even take out an RLS legacy location? Do you just hope it'll go away by itself? Because that's what I do. And number three, Singer 5 is some good value. Print more of those, please. More Ariels, more Singer 5s. Ah, don't mind if I do. Our first match is going to be against the Sapphire Ruby, the deck that everybody's playing. It's got the Sisus, which banishes characters with two strength or less, which, let's be honest, is every card in our hand. We like having the Ursula Shift line. And we like having this Ursula to rip cards from him. So I think we're just going to get rid of this. What does this do? Banish chosen item? Don't mind if I do. And it's a song. Well, that looks like a big W. And then we just got to read this card real quick. All opposing characters gets two strength until the start of turn. We'll get rid of it. We don't need it. We could sing with Ursula. But we're not doing. We have Ursula's Shell Necklace, and we need to talk about this card really quick. Well, we can't because we can't see the card image. Whenever you play a song, you may pay one ink to draw a card. So you already know we're going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and ink Bruno Madrigal and then pass the turn. Big plays, I know. But we're getting there. Surely and steadily. There's the Triton. They're playing some wacky stuff and we're excited to see the popsicle the number one turn one and we are going to banish that popsicle before they have a chance to hire him lost in the woods welcome to the inkwell and we are going to throw out this ursula right now to make sure that they don't have a one jump ahead if they have one jump ahead we're going to rip it from their hands they don't they have the location man pajamas and they got the they got all kinds of crazy stuff and we're scared of the sisu because the sisu is going to take out any one strength character um do we shift her now Nah, because we want to be able to use that song. So we pass the turn. We can sing and play this Ursula next turn. I think that's what we want to do, because we don't want to wait two turns for it, right? We'll be at three, and we'll play this. Why is my mouse swirling? I don't like that vibes. There it goes away. There's the McDuck Manor into the inkwell. And we get big Cinderella, or as I like to call her, big ink. We're gonna put out the Cinderella. And then we expect them to take this card out next turn. That's okay with us. So, next turn, we're gonna put this card down, sing with Ursula to banish their item, and then when we sing a card, we can pay an ink to draw a card. And that's the Wombo Combo. That's the synergies that we're about. There's Maui into the Inkwell. They're at three Zs, and we'll probably, oh, we see a Brawl. That is a better card to play than the Sisu. They got us for sure.
we will get rid of Ursula here. And we'll play this Ursula. We're not going to shift her, right? We're not that crazy. No. We're just going to play her. And then this Ursula is going to sing it to get rid of this Popsicle so they can't Hiram it. That's the dealio. And then we pass turn. So, like, what we wanted to do was gone. So we did a different thing. That's crazy. They have three ink, and they're probably saying, gosh, I wish I had that popsicle. I sure would like to use my high room to draw more cards. But guess what, buddy? You already have seven cards in your hand. How much many more cards do you want, Credish? He wants a lot of cards. Three ink. See if they got some smoke for us. It looks like they might have forgotten they were playing the game. There's Agrabah into the inkwell. And then what else? They have four. They're targeting this thing. Leave Ursula alone. There's an RLS legacy. Every turn they're going to be getting two lore from it. Characters gain evasive while here. And if you already have a character, you pay two less to move additional characters there. We don't need that one. But we could draw a card with Ursula's out. Does that make sense? Like if we sing it with that Ursula, then we don't get two lore. But we get to draw a card. It ain't worth it, fam. We're just going to ink it. And get out more of a board. Eight goes crazy, dude. How are we going to do eight damage to that thing? We just got to quest it out. Who are we kidding? We quest and then we can banish from their hand. Yeah. Maui's fish hook, get out of here. That Judy Judy Hops is scary because it could banish our Ursula's conch necklace. Shell necklace. Conch. The magic conch. Oh, hell, the magic conch. He's the magic conch. They have four. They can go to five. That RLS legacy ain't going nowhere anytime soon. We don't got the firepower to take it out. And if we are taking it out, it's going to be on the water because it's a boat. They're targeting Ursula. Leave Ursula alone, dude. Yeah, whenever I quest, I get to banish one of your non-character cards, right? Whenever this character quest chosen an opponent, reveals their hand and discards a non-character card of your choice. If you got a non-character card, it's going right out of there, buddy. There's the Sisu into the Inkwell. Did we see a Maui in their hand? Nope, it's another RLS Legacy. That's crazy. We don't like that at all have another ursula and then we will quest for two and then look at their hand sisu triton judy judy hops we'll do a damage there and we'll quest watch us lose by one lore they gain four lore with all those rls legacies up on board and we can do a total of five damage next turn which is nothing we're so scared of RLS Legacy. Locations are giving us the business. There's a Stitch, the Rush. It's going to be able to do three damage wherever it wants. It takes out the Pluto. RIP Pluto in the chat. There's nobody in the chat. They have three inks still. That could be their Judy Judy Hops to banish our shell necklace. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. I'm fairly certain Judy costs three. They don't want us to have Judy. Judy quest for two. Like, it'd be behoovent to them to play their Judy. Come on, Gretish. You dirty dog. They really like hovering over that Ursula. And they play a C2 to banish our Ursula. The Deceiver. Those are our last legacies are doing work, dude. We get a Bruno. Who are we going to target with Bruno? I think you already know we're going to target Sisu, so they can't shift. 
Then discard a card. Judy Judy Hops. Get Shrek, dude. Why is she highlighted a different color? Sisu and Triton. And Quest and Sisu and Triton. Why are we taking out these locations? The world may never know. They gain four lower with the locations to go to tensies. And that's almost elevensies. They could quest with their stitch or take out one of our Ursulas. They can't take it out. Who are you kidding? You can't take out our Ursula. They move to location, which gives it evasive. And they quest it. There's nothing left to do it, but to do it, we play in Ursula, and then we also quest for two. Be prepared, more like get out of here. Uh, paired. No, and then we quest again, and we see what they have in their hand. Whoa, whoa, a train and a Sisu, don't mind if I do. And then we pass turn. They get to game four again. And luckily we have game on board. If they don't pull something that can uh, wipe out these cards, we should be able to win. But who knows? If they have anything to take out any of our cards, they win. But if we have anything, no. That's the deal. If any one of our cards goes away this turn, we lose. Because these are less legacies and the stitch. Close the deal. They do three damage there. Gets rid of their stitch. And then do we see anything else to take it out? It's the stitch to take it out. We lost the game. Unless we play a goat. Do you think we have a goat? It's a possibility. They have three ink still. It's Triton himself. Oh, we get a Bruno, which is good news. It delays the inevitable. A Bruno. Go there. They have to discard a card. It's going to be Sisu. And we quest. And it's Triton in their hand. Big surprise. And then we quest again. Maybe we got lucky here. They gain four lore with those locations. They're at 19. If they play a goat, they win. But could they? Could they have a goat? They don't have a goat. It's just a little joke I'm doing. Hopefully we locked it down. Ooh, Brawl comes out. And Brawl takes it down. Which, wow. That was tough. Strike a good match. Don't mind if I do. The Muses. Pluto, get out of here, bud. We're gonna... Pay an ink to draw a card. Sounds good. And then we're gonna do it again. Ariel and her, John, you gotta get out of here, bud. Do we pay an ink? Are we that crazy? We're that crazy. Look at that, Mother's Knows Best. Not her, we're gonna do her for a song card. The family card. We got the family card. We're going to ink the family card. Play a Cinderella. And then we're going to hit him with the whoops and pass. And then they'll win off of locations. There is Jenga, dude. Here we go again against a Amber Ruby. We get to go first, which is good news. We like this card. Banishing their items, but I don't think they have any items. We're going to keep one of these Plutos. We'll keep Cinderella for ink because we're crazy and we're going to get rid of that. That could be our turn two. We're chilling. We're just bulletin two. That's going to be our ink. That's going to be our thing. Ooh, we got that again. So maybe we just ink that. We get to go first. Let's go. Here we go. Into the inkwell. There's a plutes. A little uh, pooch. The friendly pooch. And hopefully next turn we will get to play S Ursula. Before they roll to take out Ursula. We will be able to discard their hand. They have eight cards in hand. They haven't inked yet. What are they doing over there? This is a crazy name. I think they chose this name. Because there's no way that they got those dubs. Not rolling it that way. They ink and play a Cinderella. We sure are scared about the bare necessities. 
ripping our sudden chill. We are super scared of that happening. We play our Ursula and pass turn. And if they have bare necessities and rip our sudden chill, it's going to be bad. This is my warm water. This is my cold water. Oh, whoa, look at that. Bare necessities to rip our sudden chill. What? That's too bad. Can we make the comeback? And they paid for it. They're not messing around, dude. They can still sing a song worth three. The bare necessities to rip our conch. See you later, conch. We get Ariel. Do we pooch for it? I think so. We're going to friendly pooch to put out an Ariel early. Find a card. We get sudden chill right back. Good news! You got a discard? A card. Or two. We're gonna be ripping their cards. There goes Medusa, and we get to play it again from the discard for Freezies. See what else we rip. It's a hard choice for them. And you won't believe it. It's Ariel, the new mermaid. We're going to go ahead and ink our legendary card and play a little uh, Pluto, because there's no grab your swords here. We're chilling. So we're at a total of five ink next turn if we want. It's a good deal, but only for characters. If it's like Bruno, we don't get to sing it. Just kidding, we get to see Bruno with that. Brawl is going to take out a card. They choose our Ariel instead of our Ursula, which is chilling with us. They're really about to throw into it, they quest. There's Lost in the Hordes. Which are we really gonna say it so we don't take any damage? No, we're gonna ink it, dude. We ink it, we throw into this princess, we throw it back, and then we quest and quest, and me and him, me and homeboy, we're both top deck, and it's top deck central over here. If you don't like watching top decks, subscribe to the channel. There's Juliet into the inkwell. They have four ink, and it's Mother Cathel. Ariel, get us a song card, please. It's no song cards. We'll put her as the number one. And pass the turn. Do we quest, or do we chill out, dude? I think we just chill out, dude. They play a card, and you will not believe it. It's Mother of the We get to strike a good match, and you already know we're going to double sing that thing. Ooh, can we sing that? Five, six, seven? Yeah, we can. We're going to do the same thing again. Draw two. We should probably get rid of that so we can play an Ursula later. So we can play an Ursula this turn. Weird choices. I think we're just going to cool it. And we'll double sing this next turn. Because then we could literally hit the double sing. Right? We're chilling with that. There's a beast. It's four damage when it enters play. Then they're going to throw into this Ursula. You already know they throw into that Ursula. Five and seven. We're gonna choose that for five, that for the rest. We get to draw a single Ursula off of that first sing. And then we get to play it again. From the discard, four freezies. Ariel. And Muses? Or Ariel and Ariel? I think Ariel and Ariel. We play her. 
No songs. And that's okay with us. We can't exert exert to play this aerial. Get a Bruno. And we'll ink that. They don't have any items. So we're cooling. And then we pass. Overall, a pretty good turn. Like, they're going to be able to take out two cards. Probably this and this. But overall, pretty good turn. They get to play another beast. A little sad boy. And take out a pooch. Which I don't blame them for taking out a pooch. But why? We will... Bruno here. And yeah, we are going to sing it to put away one of their doggies. And I think we'll just throw into a doggy so they don't have it. That only did two damage to us. That's crazy. And they're nowhere close to be prepared. And I think we are chilling. I think we have this game all locked. We're going to be able to quest for six next turn. Which is bad news. All of these characters only quest for one. Ha 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 ha. There's Maui into the inkwell. And it's our turn. It's Bruno. We're going to keep that. You already know we're going to keep that. We're going to quest for six. Slowly, but surely, and they can see that's the power of not knowing what you're doing. We're vibing with this deck so much that we're going again. It's the Sapphire Steel, the deck that is the whole meta right now. We love having Ariel, and we love having these big songs that she can sing. We're going to go ahead and not get rid of that, because that can be sung on turn two. Muses is going to be ink. That's going to be ink, and we're chilling. What a perfect hand. Go ahead and get rid of that. And play Mrs. Cinderella. And if they play a Popsicle Dude, it's out of there. Or maybe we should save it for Quill. Just kidding. If they play a Popsicle Dude, it's out of there. If they play a Forest Sphere right now, even better. Um, Muses, you got to go. And we just quest. And pass the turn. We're pretty excited about our hand right now. It can't get better than this. They have Gramatala into the inkwell. Do they have anything for two? It's Noi, which I was not expecting. I definitely was expecting Mr. Smee. This is the one that gets resist one and ward if they have an item in play, right? Well, you have an item in play, yes. So we need to sing this, save it to not get an item in play. We are gonna put that there. I think we put out Ursula now, instead of Ariel. And then we pass the turn. We're still chilling. We're still cooling. Everything's fine. Probably should have done Ariel because she can sing Bruno first. But if they play like two popsicles, then what well, boom Get Shrek. Big plays. They ink another Grandma Tall. That's two of them. Gonzo. Not even using their ability. Just throwing them in there. And here comes a Detective Mickey. The first ramp of the game. Puts a card from the top of their deck into their inkwell face down. And exert it. And we'll see if they do anything with this Noi. Is it going to be a pass? It is a pass. Ooh, we kind of like Ursula, but we need to do our big plays here. We need to keep all of it, yeah. Like, we could get rid of this. Right? We shouldn't, though. That's like two turns down the line. We'll ink Ursula Deceiver here. And then we'll play Ariel. We'll get to draw another Bruno. Good deal. So now they know that we have one Bruno. And we're not going to quest. We're not going to do a thing. We're just going to pass. They're at uh, Grab Your Swords territory, which means that we would have lost all the benefit of this Cinderella. But the, mm, it's okay. It's just what we're doing. We're just trying to double sing with Ursula with all these nice princesses. Look at our board. Look at this Cinderella, Ursula, and Ariel. All from the same movie. The Christmas special. They ink a beast and they have five. Could we see the Cogsworth now? Fives is a lot. Five is grab your swords or Cogsworth. 
Also a tragic beast, if they have a tragic beast. They're keeping on, on the tip of our toes. It's going to be a fishbone quill, and we're going to banish the heck out of that next turn. They're killing us. Our ADHD is firing. Oh, what are they going to do? <coughs> I hope they don't exert the fishbone. That'd be a, a W. They're going to play an Imperial Bow, and that means that we kind of want to double sing with uh, Has Set My Heart, which I think is fine. We're going to do it. We're going to double sing Has Set My Heart. I'm going to get rid of that. And then we're going to choose to play it from the discard for freezies. Get rid of that. And then uh, Ariel over here is going to Bruno this Noi. We could get her on board if we get rid of Bruno. But we don't need to. We could just Bruno here. She quests for two, and that's pretty cool. So we are gonna ink Bruno, and we are gonna play the Cindy and quest and pass. She quests for two. We need Lore to win the game. That's the only way that we're winning this game, we? We have 49 cards in deck. We have 49 cards in deck. It's like we're twins or something. I find them on flat and them goes into the ink well. That's a cool card because it banishes all items. Both you and your opponents so it's not too good if you're also blue steel, but if you're applying green steel, it's probably a great tech. There is the Cogsworth. Cogsworth, Cogsworth, and Cogsworth. That's what he sounds like. Three and two and nine. Nine and two and five. They're throwing it in. They're going crazy. See if they have a baboon for it. They don't have a baboon for it. We are going to sing with Ariel and Ursula. We get to draw two, which you already know when we are drawing these two because they're the only two that we can draw. One, two, into our hand. We get to play it again from the discard for freezies. Is it going to be BJ? Nah. Is it going to be the legendary? And that sounds like a plan. If we ink a legendary... We can play a legendary and a doggy. And we can quest and quest and pass. I think that's what we should have done. We're just building a huge board. Look at that. Six characters on board. They have seven ink. We have six ink. There's a pop sickle. So cold. You ever seen that? The the TikTok lives of that ladies? With the ice cream? Woof. Follow us on TikTok. Ready, set, ink. They have six ink to play with still. And this guy's killing our ADHD, dude. We want the action. Give us the smoke. There's Tomatoa into the inkwell, sadly. They have seven ink. Oh, 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 it's Lucky the Dime. Bold choices, really. Would we bounce our own for just for fun? No. We'll go Ursula. We'll go Pooch for her. We'll pay to bounce the Mickey, which gives him a ramp. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. But who knows? This one quest for two. This one quest for one. And this one quest for one. That's 11. And we have 10 on board. They have to kill at least three characters for us not to win. Good luck with that, Bakaroo. We got eight characters on board. And we're chilling with this deck. It was pretty fun. I don't think they're going to be able to stop us this turn. 
We've seen no damaging spells from them. They play a Mickey Mouse. They still have time for a Zeus. Like, if this is a Zeus, they could delay it. It's an Imperial Bow. That might be enough. Challenger 2, that could put it to 5. That could take out that. But then we still have 10 lore. Like, they have to put us to 7 lore. They have to take out 3 lore. And that's that. We crumble their cookie hard. Jellyfish. 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 They're going to dine for two more on the Cogsworth. Let's see if they quest that Cogsworth. Quest, Cogsworth, quest, Cogsworth, quest, Cogsworth. Do it. I'll hit it for you. Do it, do it, do it. What are they doing, dude? Are they taking notes? Probably. That's what I used to do when I played Blue Steel because I needed notes when I played that. Deck. Because. Oh, and they can see. There it is. Wombo Combo. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. All love, brother.